Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're talking about Windows 10S. Microsoft announced this new operating system yesterday, and some people are calling it Windows RT 2.0. Is it really Windows RT 2.0? Well, let's discuss and find out more about what Windows 10S is really all about. So with the introduction of Windows 10S, Microsoft has brought a piece of software that is based off Windows to combat Chrome OS. And that's really the whole idea of Windows 10S. And if you're thinking, is this for me? Is this something I should get? Well, Windows 10S is really not for everyone. That's the first thing I would say. It does have some elements of Windows RT in the sense that it doesn't run x86 uh, software. So if you have legacy software on your computer, you cannot install it on a PC with Windows 10S. That is just the way it is. And that's how, uh, that's just final, pretty much. So what is Windows 10S? Windows 10S is built off Windows 10. It is Windows 10 itself, but applications running on there come directly from the Windows Store. So if you're a company who wants to have your software running on Windows 10S, then that's how it needs to be done. The whole idea of Windows 10S, some people call it Windows 10 Starter, I call it Windows 10 School, is to give, um, is to give students cheaper options in getting Windows into the Windows platform. Now the benefits of Windows 10S is that you can set up up to about 600 computers with uh, USB sticks. It takes about 30 seconds to install, 30 to 45 seconds to install, I apologize there. Uh, so the installation process is really quick with this. Boot up time is 15 seconds um, and you do have a whole Windows suite of applications. So Office applications will be there. Now the idea of Windows 10S for me really applies to the educational platform and that's what they showcased yesterday with the Windows uh, 10s event or the Microsoft EDU event. The reason I say that is because uh, there are a lot of applications that showed what you could do with Windows and with the pro a software like Windows 10s making it more streamlined so the kids can have better access to computing. Now we saw different computers from vendors from people like Acer, uh, Dell, things like that where you would have Windows 10s computers at a cheaper price. Acer announced one, which is, I believe the travel made for about $299. So that is one device that can take, take a lot of that functionality at a cheap price point with great battery life for students. And then of course you have devices like the Microsoft uh, Surface Laptop, which is more of a high-end Windows 10S device. Again, still focused on student because that's what Panos was talked about. And he said with that device, this is a device a student can pick up uh, first year of college going through registration process and still have by graduation time. So Microsoft is saying that, yeah, this will last you through your college career, which is great. Now, of course, you can't run x86 applications on there. The beauty about Windows 10S is that any device that you buy with Windows 10S, you can always upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro if you want to. So it is upgradable there. Now, going back to Windows 10S software, what's the benefit of having this now? We took a look at different pieces of software there. There was a software we looked at that allowed you to do some editing, uh, really extensive. You do have Adobe Suite also through the Windows uh, Store. But also there was a, a really cool math software, which I, I want to talk about again. It's called Fluid Math because it allowed you to go ahead and do calculations from basic math all the way to advanced calculus uh, using the software where you can see your steps, the mistakes you made, if it's correct, where you can write equations. So look at this in a school setting where a teacher can write out an equation in the software, send it out to students, and then the students can work their way through the, the problem and get a better idea of what they're actually doing and understanding exactly why. I mean, I looked at the software and I said, I wish I had that when I was in, you know, in high school. It would help me with my calculus much better. But that's the whole idea. And using Windows 10S as a platform where it is lighter, faster, and also there are more controls. That's the other thing they mentioned. They brought in a professor from, um, sorry, a principal from a school in Atlanta I talked about how the Windows framework allowed them to actually have a virtual classroom, bring in guests, uh, speakers uh, about different topics, whether it's anthropology, biology or science, and also they could monitor what the students were doing. And this is all supported by the Windows framework. 
Uh, with Windows 10 S, you also get Office 365 free for a year. If you're a student, you get Office Office 365 as a student for free. And also the framework for schools and universities also tied into it. So yes, it does kind of feel like Windows RT, but let's be honest, it's not meant for everyone. And I think that's the key thing people are missing here. What Microsoft is trying to introduce with Windows 10 is, is a way to get kids and schools uh, the right kind of software to actually get them going. And with the hardware you have, you can always upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. That's the thing with Windows 10 S, right? The devices we saw were all powered by Intel chipsets. Some of them had dedicated graphics, some not. And you can install a Windows 10 S, you can upgrade from Windows 10 S to Windows 10 Pro. So for instance, the, the Surface laptop comes with Windows 10 S. If you don't want to use Windows 10 S, you can get upgraded to Windows 10 Pro and use that device. It is a lovely looking device. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it with Windows 10 S. That's the breakdown of what I got from there. I liked the fact that Microsoft was showcasing education with this. They had some STEM hacks that you can check out that were really cool. They had really great pieces of software uh, through the App Store that could actually enhance the educational experience. And I'm really jealous because when I went through school, uh, yes, a long time ago, doing math problems, I had to use a cosine table, I had to check it, I had to see my sine tables, I had to work out my calculations, and I can do this all on my device, uh, a Surface device. So this is something that I think will help a lot in that space, and I'm very happy they are doing that. Again, Windows 10 S is not for everyone, and I'm fine with that. I'm just glad that they have a focus on the educational space uh, with tools, software, hardware to actually help push uh, learning for kids in the future. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about Windows 10 S, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. And if you're subscribing to us for the first time, definitely hit the notification icon. If you're a subscriber already, please go check it out and hit that notification icon anyway so you get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. Oh,